I've coached in the ACC. I've coached in the Big 12. I've been in every stadium in all those conferences, including the SEC, and there's nothing like a Saturday in Williams-Brice Stadium, and that's the truth. Welcome to the University of South Carolina and the latest edition of Inside Carolina. I'm your host, Hannah Horn, a proud alumna of the university. We're inside williams Bryce Stadium. Wow, in just a few short weeks, 80,000 fans are gonna be here cheering on our Gamecocks. And our first guest needs no introduction. I'm Coach Shane Beamer. Thanks for joining us inside Carolina. Coming into a highly anticipated second season, we sat down with head coach Shane Beamer about life with the Gamecocks and preparations for this fall. September 3rd, it is the most anticipated day for Gamecock fans everywhere. It is the second season for coach Shane Beamer and the beginning of a season where we go to the national championship, right? I'm calling it. Well, I like the way you think. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> optimism, optimism. Absolutely. Welcome, welcome back for a great season ahead. Take me back to um, last season. You had some challenges, mm -hmm. but you ended really strong with that. Yeah. Uh, we know you love mayonnaise, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm better. <laughs> it was really gross. Uh, the whole, uh, <laughs> not going there. But anyway, uh, take me back to that win and how you feel like you're coming into this season with that behind you and, and that, that score. Yeah, I think anytime you win your last game, it just mm -hmm. gives you great momentum going into the next season. And to play like we did in that game did nothing nothing but just springboard us into 2022 and uh, you know proud of the way we finished and now we have to build on that. Game day. Take me through a typical day of how you prepare a home game at williams Bryce on a Saturday. You know, you wake up that morning and, and there's a lot of like nervous energy and things like that, but absolutely the best part is when you finally get to the stadium here for a game day and then mm -hmm. we get dropped off and, and we do our Gamecock walk into the mm -hmm. stadium and to see the thousands upon thousands of, of fans that are sitting there waiting to uh, welcome you that day is something very special and unique to South Carolina. And I'm so blessed and so fortunate to be the head coach here and, and one of the many reasons is williams Bright Stadium. And standing in that tunnel and listening to 2001 before we take the field, uh, I will never take for granted. And then all the great traditions during the game as well. I notice on the wall some of the tenets of leadership, some yeah. of the values, love, gratitude, positive energy, trust, toughness, accountability, and compete. Mm -hmm. That isn't just football, yeah. that's business, that's mm -hmm. in family, that's in community. Yeah. There's more than football happening in this building and on that field. No, there is, and, and uh, you know, those, it was a while ago, I was an assistant coach, and, and I remember talking to a head coach in the NFL one time, and he's like, if you had like a mission statement for what Shane Beamer's like as a person, what would your mission statement be? And nobody had ever phrased that to me before, and I just got to thinking about it. Okay, what are things that are important to me that, that I, uh, value and that's where those came from and then when I got hired here I met with all of our players on the team individually and just listened to their stories and the things that they felt like this program was lacking and what we needed and it's my job I feel like as the head football coach yes to win football games but also making sure that we're developing these players during their time here in this program as, as people as well. well. On behalf of the alumni students and every Gamecock everywhere just Go Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We love cheering on all of our Gamecocks. Here are some recent accomplishments happening in Gamecock Nation. 1991 law graduate J. Michelle Childs has been confirmed by the U.S. Senate to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit. Chai Pani, an Indian street food restaurant in Asheville, North Carolina, has been awarded a prestigious James Beard Award. The restaurant was founded in 2009 by Marwan Irani, an alumnus of the Darlamore School of Business. This summer, university faculty member Tom Mulliken led a group of adventurers on a trek from the Low Country to the Blue Ridge Mountains. Called SC7 Expedition, the trip highlighted seven natural wonders of South Carolina, including Congaree National Park, the Ace Basin, and the Edisto River. If you graduated from the university 10, 20, 30 years ago, well, you'll notice a lot of things have changed on campus. There are more buildings, there's more green space, and there are more students. For an inside look at this growing student body and how it affects the university, we go straight to the source, to the team behind the scenes welcoming these new students. 
the calm before the storm on such a quiet day. It's hard to imagine these bricks thundering with freshman feet, but they are coming. Thousands of them. If you've heard about declining college enrollment in the past couple of years, well, no one told these students. I'm proud to say that we're gonna have a record number of freshmen this year, the largest freshman class ever in the history of the university. That's a lot more freshmen than the university had 25 years ago. In fact, 70% more undergraduates attended the Columbia campus in 2021 than in 1997, and that is something to celebrate. This is a place people wanna be. Students want a good enriching experience. They want an overall college experience. They want to earn not just a degree, but they want to have uh, an experience in school that they won't forget. We're attracting more students, but we're also attracting better students. Uh, when you look at the grades and the academic profile of our incoming class, it's one of the best we've ever had. USC's admitted freshmen are coming from 45 states and 30 countries, but the incoming class also includes more South Carolina residents than ever and they're coming from diverse backgrounds. 20% of our incoming freshmen are projected to be the first in their families to, to attend college. Um, another 20% are students that are from very low resource families. So we're seeing more interest from a much broader type of student coming to the university this year. With so many incoming freshmen, you can imagine the challenge of ensuring an unparalleled college experience for all of them. But USC's faculty and staff are up to the task. South Carolina has grown so much as an institution and you would think that that might limit some of the opportunities or create some pressure points and it's done exactly the opposite. It. We've been able to better support our student population. We've been able to add student support services, uh, both on campus and in housing. A lot has changed uh, in university housing since I was a student. We are very much more student focused and intentional now. USC housing staff have spent a year prepping for this new freshman class to make their transition to campus living as easy as possible. Students can use an online matching system to choose their rooms and roommates, and even can choose to study in a living and learning community where they interact directly with faculty and students who share their academic interests. We have living learning communities on campus where faculties actually engage with our students in the residence halls to um, really create an experience that is specific to a learning community. So if you are in the Galen community, um, our faculty member create opportunities within the health sciences that will actually enhance a student's experience. We have professors who come in, um, speakers who come in, who really help our students see a bigger perspective, a broader perspective. We are excited about um, our freshmen coming. It's the most exciting time of the year to welcome our Gamecocks home. You can feel the energy, you can feel the excitement, the love, uh, all the fun things that are going on with uh, athletics. What's going on with our new leadership has really breathed some excitement into the community here. So I think U USC is just continuing to be a destination of choice more and more for students around the country and of course here in South Carolina. So as things start to get busy on campus, rest assured this bigger and better freshman class is well cared for. And in turn, they give the university strength and spirit. So here's a health class of 2026 forever to thee. We cannot wait to welcome all those new Gamecocks to campus. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Inside Carolina. That's all the time we have for now, but we love hearing from you on any ideas of stories or places to explore that you'd like for us to go. Thanks for joining us, Inside Carolina.